Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanne and today I'll be showing you guys how I made a platform in my Hyundai Ionic. So guys, I copied this um, method from a few different people. I watched two people's YouTube videos and I'll link those in the description, but I got this idea from one dude and I'll link it in the description like I just said, but basically I just put two this is all plywood by the way and this is gonna be I bought this from Lowe's and I had to cut these myself but they cut this and that one but so it's just like a crisscross method and they can come out just like this and so on and so on they all come apart And you got a platform right there and then i'll show you guys the second part as you can see they're not leveled this part isn't leveled because i made this platform like a second platform but i accidentally did it the wrong way and i glued this on top of the board rather than like on the side of the board so back here we just have this one big board that fits the exact dimensions of this car and then I'll bring this out to show So this one, to make this part and that part even, I knew it would be three, I need three feet. But what I was saying is I messed it up because I should put this part on this side rather than putting this on top of this because it made it three feet and maybe half an inch right there. And so if I wanted to pack this down, I'll show you guys what it would look like. All right, so if I wanted to pack this down, this is what it would look like. Haha ha, guys, <laughs> so this board is a little too big for it to go in and close completely, but honestly, the way I plan to use this is I'm going to go places like over a span of like four days or so because I don't plan to do this full time. And even if you did plan to do it full time, you probably wouldn't want to have to do something that can be taken apart super easily but um so basically if i ever needed to use my car with all five seats available i can but if i wanted to do it while i had my bed set up in there it wouldn't work because this is too big to go in the trunk and for the seats to pull up uh, to pull up <laughs> see because that one fits in there perfectly so everything else folds really nicely in there and i'll to be able to put the seats up Okay guys, so the plywood that I bought from Lowe's, I believe was half an inch. It was 29, 29.12 or something like that, but it was basically $30. And I ended up having to buy two, but I really only needed one, but I messed up on the first one. So I had to buy the second one. And I have a lot of leftover plywood from the second one, but I had to do what I had to do. It is what it is. Um, I didn't use any nails, any screws, none of that. I just used some uh, wood glue for that second platform that goes under this one, this right here. I just used some wood glue. This is the wood glue that I bought. Just the Gorilla Glue wood glue for like $8, $6, I can't remember. Then guys, I did buy this um, Hacksaw, I believe it's called. Let me get the box. Oh, it's called a jigsaw. But this Black Decker jigsaw, this was also $29. $29. 
but it just made everything it's just made everything so much easier to cut because i did originally have a handsaw and imagine having to cut those um like hold on let me show you like i originally started with these because this the, um like imagine having to cut these this and having to cut a straight line off of the plywood like that was so much work because Lowe's doesn't do cuts that are under 12 inches. So they can do big cuts for you, but if it's under 12 inches, they won't do the cut. So just keep that in mind. And you didn't hear from me, but it didn't work and you get a 30 day guarantee. So as long as you keep your receipt, you can just hand that thing back to them and get your $20 back or your $30 cause it was $29. So you can get your $30 back, okay? And still used it, but you ain't hear it from me. You didn't hear that from me. Hey everybody, so if you made it to the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned or gained any information that you could, all information that you could from this video. Um, I learned as I went, um, so I hope that this helped you. And yeah, 